Hi folks, hi mom and dad and grandfathers. Welcome to Allison and Ruben's story time. Allison and I are going to read a beautiful book. Huh, Allison, huh? It's called Family Pictures, Cuadros de Familia. This is a very beautiful book published by Children's Book Press in San Francisco. And they're all very beautiful cultural books. So today, Alice and I are going to just remind you moms and dads and grandparents that uh, the best pastime at home is story time. And uh, parents, read to your children three or four times a week at home out loud. Hi, Allison. Out loud. Because today we're going to read out loud. Because reading is very important. And reading is going to take us all over the world. Okay? And today, Allison and I are going to be reading Family Pictures, Cuadros de Familia. And the author is Carmen Lomas Garza. But guess what, folks? Not only is she the author, she is also the illustrator, the painter, the artist. What talent some people have, huh, Allison? Yeah, but your talent, I understand you're a very good reader. You are, huh? And you just can't wait to start reading Cuadros de Familia, Family Pictures, huh? I have been a reader all my life. Did you know that I fall asleep reading at night? Because I'm tired. But I wake up in the morning and I start reading again. Because mostly all the books that I've read when I'm starting at your age, of many countries, I have traveled and visited those countries already, Allison. How lucky I am, huh? How lucky I am. But it all started at your age by reading. So today, ladies and gentlemen and grandparents, remember, reading is very important. Reading is the fountain to wisdom. In Spanish, I'm going to say it, okay, Allison? La lectura es la fuente para la sabiduría. And today, Allison, your turn to read and share with everyone how much and how beautiful reading is all about. Here we go. Oops. Let me turn the página. Let me turn the page here. Uh, and it's fun turning pages, too. Here we go. Allison Arnold. The Fair in Reynosa. My friends and I once went to a very big fair across the border in Reynosa, Mexico. The fair lasted a whole week. Artisans and entertainers came from all over Mexico. There were lots of booths with food and crafts. This is one little section where everybody is ordering and eating tacos. I painted a father buying tacos and the rest of the family sitting down at the table. The little girl is the father's favorite, and that's why she gets to tag along with him. I can always recognize little girls who are their father's favorites. Allison, you read so good. You must be reading since you were a little kid, huh? Yes, I can tell because you pronounce the words so neat, probably even better than me. So I need to practice more, okay? And reading is neat. And uh, Allison was telling us about, you know, visiting Mexico. The, uh, and the, and it's, Mexico is such a beautiful country. We should all take that opportunity and go visit one of these days. It's a very historical country, beautiful language, Spanish, very intelligent and very romantic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to read what Allison read, but I'm going to do it in Spanish, okay? And here we go, Allison. La Feria en Reynosa. Una vez, mis amigos y yo fuimos a una feria muy grande en Reynosa, México, al otro lado de la frontera. La feria duró una semana en Fera, a whole week, just like you told in English. He says, uh, llegaron artesanos y artistas de todo México. Había muchos puestos donde se vendía comida y artesanías. Eran, esta era una pequeña parte de la feria donde todos están comprando y comiendo tacos. Mm. I'm getting hungry, Mr. Andrew. Everybody likes tacos. I've never met any person that didn't like tacos. But anyways, pinté un padre comprando tacos y el resto de la familia sentada a la mesa. La niña pequeña es la preferida de su papá. Y por eso es que él le permite que ande siempre con él. And hoy siempre puede reconocer Cuando una niñita 
es la preferida de su papá. Isn't that something? Daddies, for some reason, just love their little babies, their little girls, huh? And I, I think your daddy loves you a lot because uh, he's read to you, huh? Out loud. So it's so important to read because when you read, you know, you just go and you learn so much. Did you know that if you read 20 minutes a day, Allison, 20 minutes a day, 20 minutos todos los días, one million words a year you will have read. And we learn from one to three thousand new words if we read. So uh, it's, it's, uh, it's very, uh, very important. Now, the more words we use, the more words we're going to listen. And that builds up our vocabulary. So it's fun reading because you learn at the same time. So now, here we go, folks. We're going to continue reading. I don't know where, the way we're going. We're going to finish this book, huh? But eventually, you can finish it at home, Allison, okay? So here we go. And this chapter is about oranges. And you go right ahead, please. Yes, con ganas. <laughs> oranges. We were always going to my grandparents' house, so whatever they were involved in, we would get involved in. In this picture, my grandmother is hanging up the laundry. We told her that the oranges needed picking, so she said, well, go ahead and pick some. Before she knew it, she had too many oranges to hold in her hands, so she made a basket out of her apron. That's my brother up in the tree picking oranges. The rest of us are picking up the, the ones that dropped on the ground. That's very good. And oranges are delicious, aren't they? If we can eat an orange a day, I like to eat two a day, but apples and fruit, they're healthy foods. But oranges are nice to have in the refrigerator, you just at school and whenever. But uh, we need to eat healthy foods, and oranges is one of them. They're juicy, delicious. But uh, okay, so Allison read in, in English, and here I go, where I'm going to read in Espanol. Okay, Allison, here we go. Sigan mi dedito mágico. Follow the magic finger. Okay. Naranjas. Siempre íbamos a la casa de mis abuelos. Así que cualquier cosa que estuvieran haciendo ellos, nosotros la hacíamos también. We did everything our grandparents did. So, en este cuadro, mi abuela está colgando la ropa a secar. She's drying clothes right here. Y ella nos respondió, vayan pues, recógenlas. En unas dos por tres tenía demasiadas naranjas para sostenerlas en las manos. Así que hizo de su delantal, apron, uh, una canasta. Eso es mi hermano en el árbol. That's our baby brother up in the tree, like you said. Recogiendo las naranjas. Y los otros estamos recogiendo las que él deja caer al suelo. So he's on top of the tree and he's dropping them down and they're picking them up and putting them on grandma's apron because she's using it like a canasta, like a basket to put all the... the. But we have so many beautiful uh, stories here for dinner, para la cena. So for those of you that want to learn English, this is a very good book. And for those of us that want to learn Spanish, children's books are the best because do you see the illustration? And not only that, there's such beautiful stories. We have some wonderful, wonderful stories out there written by many, many young people like yourself, Allison. And uh, we need to publish them. So we need to go to bookstores. We need to go to libraries. We need to go to museums. We need to go to the theater. And we need to take a beautiful walk in the park holding hands with your mom and your daddy and friends, cousins, and also your grandparents. Parents are wonderful too, huh? 
They were he. They're he. They're good. Oh, grandparents are the best. They're unforgettable. And it's because of them that we're here. And this was at about a birthday party, los cumpleaños. And I'm just going to go real fast like that. This is the cakewalk where the girls are walking this way and the boys are walking that way. And it's just celebrating. Isn't, isn't it neat to celebrate? We need to embrace celebrations and cultures and languages because we, we, we have a lot of beautiful people living here in the United States. Ah, oh, this is one of my favorite, picking nopal cactus, piscando nopalitos. I love nopalitos. I love them with eggs and with chili and then a salad. Oh, yeah, I'm getting hungry. Nopalitos are very healthy, too. And there they are. Look, Allison, there they are cutting them. And you can be very careful because they have what? They have what? Needles. Needles. Yeah, spiny. And you got to be careful that, you know what. Uh, but after you get all that off, they are delicious. Yeah. Delicioso los nopalitos. And here we are. A un tiburón martillo. And there, I grab it. Conejo. Yeah. Beautiful stories. And here we go. Mary and Joseph seeking shelter at, at the inn. And in Spanish, we call them Las Posadas. This is the holidays that are coming up pretty soon. And then, oh, who can for, who doesn't like tamales? I've never met anybody that didn't like tamales. How about you, Allison? They're good. How many can you eat? I can eat five. I can eat ten. It all depends how hungry I am. But here it is, making tamales. Would you like to read about this you read about making tamales at home. The whole family gets together. Go on, Allison. Share your tamale story. Making tamales. This is a scene from my parents' kitchen. Everybody is making tamales. My grandfather is wearing blue overalls and a blue shirt. I'm right next to him with my sister Margie. We're, we're helping to soak the dried leaves from the corn. My mother is spreading the cornmeal, cornmeal dough on the leaves, and my aunt and uncle are spreading meat on the dough. My grandmother is lining up the rolled and folded tamales, ready for cooking. In some families, just a woman make tamales, but in our family, everybody helps. Isn't that everybody helps making the tamales? And tamales are very traditional. Usually Mexican families make them around the holidays, Christmas. And not only from Mexico, but also from um, uh, El Salvador, from uh, Guatemala, many of South America, Central America, tamales. But we all make them different. But they're all delicious. And we always say, oh, my mom and my grandma, they make the best tamales. Why? Because there's no one more special than our families. We are very traditional. We love our, our families. But anyways, Allison read making tamales. In, uh, in Spanish, it's la tamalada. Okay, so I will read to you in, in, uh, in Spanish. Esta es una es escena en la cocina de mis padres. Todos están haciendo tamales. Mi abuelo tiene puestos unos rancheros azules. Here's the abuelo con, uh, con los uh, pantalones azules. Here we are. We call them rancheros. Y una camisa azul. He has a blue shirt. Yo estoy al lado de él. Where is she? She is right next to grandfather. Uh, I lost my place here. That's my, where's the magic finger? Uh, yo estoy al lado de él. Con mi hermana Margie. Estamos ayudando a remojar las hojas secas del maíz. Mi mamá está poniendo la mesa, la masa de maíz sobre las hojas. Right here. There's mom. You know. Mi abuelita está ordenando los tamales que ya están enrollados. And here's grandma right there. La abuelita. Cubiertos y listos. Para coser. Now it's time to cook. En algunas familias solo las mujeres preparan tamales. Pero en mi familia todos ayudan. In our families we all help. Because as, as children we learn how to 
to do things, how to make tamales, how to cook, but we also learn how to read together, and that's very beautiful. So, like we said earlier, uh, ladies and gentlemen, moms and dads and grandfathers, Alice and I, uh, we're having a great time right here, and we want you also to enjoy these beautiful books that are being published in many languages uh, throughout the world, and here in your beautiful city of Grand Rapids, um, Michigan. I'm from California, and I'm having a great time here, Alice. Why? Because I've had the opportunity to read today with you. So this is a very special moment. This is El Club de Libritos here in, uh, in, in your city. And I understand here you go to... St. Andrews. St. Andrews School. You like school? Yes. Yes, you go to school every day, huh? Yeah, me too. Mondays was my favorite day because that's the day that I went to school and I had two teachers that always had books for me. And I would get those two books and I would like for a place. I was looking for somewhere I could hide and read them because I enjoyed reading so much. And uh, even though, you know, we own bookstores, I love owning bookstores, but I love reading. That is number one, numero uno. Todos a leer en voz alta. All of us read out loud. So our younger brothers and sisters and our grandchildren become readers. Because if you are a reader, you're going to be someone special in this world. Just like you are, Allison, okay? You're very special. And don't look at me with that beautiful smile because I fall in love easy. So, <laughs> isn't that great? So, folks, uh, Alice and I had a great time here reading to you. Do the same thing in your households, in your families, and, and read. And if you are parents and grandparents and you're away traveling, get on the phone and read to your children over the phone. They really want to hear your voice because there's nothing more important than the development of our families. And reading leads. It leads us to the best things in life. So, what do we say now? Hasta luego. Adios. See you later. Keep on reading. 20 minutes a day. And uh, it'll be a better place in this world to live. Thank you, Allison. You're special. Hey. <laughs>